I think it. What do I have? My oh, I do. So put that on top of that. We'll charge that up. So the think it. I guess I can still do this now that I have my stupid handy dandy um, keyboard here. We'll go think it. I just want to show you the website. Yeah, yeah. So this thing's been around forever. And this guy, what's the guy's name? It's on here. David Weinstock. David Weinstock's been making this stuff for a long time. Scott McCoskery makes the torque bar, and he has claimed that the Thinkit predates his torque bar. And he's been making the torque bar since like 2015, 16 or something like that. So he makes some other stuff too, but the Thinkit is kind of what got it like all going. I have here the Quantum Wave. And I think I got one with DCL and nickel. This is probably actually the exact one I got. So he claims he talks about something here called DCL. So the stainless steel slider tube is coated with a black PVD DCL finish. I think they use this on like uh, gun handles a lot and stuff like that. And it's interesting what he says here. Please note that the black PVD DCL plating on the special limited edition production line slider tube is a diamond hard satin like textured coating. And during use, the slider tube accumulates a fine translucent brass patina from the handler from the handles inner flared 260 brass sleeve assembly. That translucent patina is similar to a kind of brass rubbing effect. Please see the last example picture, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I have it right here. So I'll give you that example. So yeah, they're pretty affordable. And I really wanted to try that and see what it was like, because I wanted to know. I mean, if it was really, you know, the first slider uh, ever, then, you know, I, I gotta know. Uh, it turned out that it like wasn't totally for me. I did use it. I did use it here and there, but it, uh, I guess I just need like noise or something. Cause it's like, it's got, it's got a very satisfying sort of bounce to it, but, uh, it's a desk toy. It's a desk toy and these very much glow in the dark, but the bright lights are, I think, stopping that from happening. Perhaps they're just, yeah. Anyway, you can kind of see how they like glow a little bit there, but I got these bright lights. So you can't really see it. So, I'll explain this part. So this part looks really cool. You can see the think it there. And then this is like the brass rubbing that he's talking about. And it's interesting. It like comes off a bit on your fingers, but then it's good that she threw wet wipes at me. Cause check this out. You can like go and you can like wet wipe this thing. And it all just like basically goes away and it's there. It's very, it's, it's interesting, but it creates this like sort of, classic sort of look to it. I don't know. I thought it was really neat. So I went with that. Uh, and then dry it off and it like goes away. This isn't like what it would classically be. They usually they just have ones that's just a plain old stainless steel tube. But I didn't really like the look of that. So I uh, went with this. So these rings go on here. Oh crap. I fucked up. You got to put that one in there. And then what it does is it, it sort of, it makes it from a bounce to like this very solid stop, stop. Like it's a very different feeling to have the rings on here. That's basically all there really is to say about it. It's interesting. It's cool. It's very classic looking. And I would rather someone else who is going to appreciate it more use it. So it's part of this whole game. Got to keep passing the stuff on. So that is one that is going to be up for sale. And it will say in the description if it's going to be, if it's still for sale or whatever. Mm -hmm.